Now, if you are one for pinning things, maybe notes, reminders, messages to that special someone in your life, we're going to show you this morning in our DIY segment how to make your very own unique pin board. And the man to show us the steps, or the ropes, I should say, is our DIY expert, Aidan Bennis. How are you doing, buddy? Well, thanks, Ian. He's holding nice those uh, cardboard boxes like it's, like it's your pride and joy. <laughs> Well, I mean, they are an integral ingredient of our DIY, so... Now, we are making something fun, something interesting, maybe that you can hang in the kitchen, the living room, wherever in your house. Well, when I thought of this project, I was sitting at my desk, and I've got a lot of these uh, anecdotes and pictures lying around, and I've got nowhere to pin them to, and uh, so I thought of making a pin board that could go above my desk. But what do we need exactly for our project? You'll need a pencil, paper knife, a ruler, and a staple gun, as well as a hammer, a glue gun, and wallpaper. Okay, so let's lay our cork tiles out and look at that. Those two sit inside perfectly. Okay, no cutting needed. And what we can do, just flip it over and we can mark off the edge. Aiden draws all the markers on the back of the cork tiles so that the front looks neat and tidy. Make doubly sure that the entire plank is covered in cork. Remember to find complete instructions on Expresso's website. Okay, so now that we've got our arrangement right, you want to grab our glue gun. You've done this before, so just <laughs> squeeze the trigger. Got it. There we go. Look at Okay. Okay. It's the last piece of our puzzle. Make sure it's down nice and tight there. See this one's just sticking off the edge a little bit, so let's just trim him a tiny little bit there. Let's just watch the fingers. Yep. That's it. Nice and neat. Love it. Cool. And there we have it covered in cork. So Ian, you've wrapped a present before, right? I have, but it's been a while, I won't lie. Okay, so it's the same principle applies. What we're going to do is literally lay out our wrapping paper, and you can pop it on top there. And face first. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we can trim off the excess paper, try to get a neat straight line. In most cases, you would use wallpaper with wallpaper glue, but I find it's quite messy and we're not applying it to a wall, we're just wrapping this piece, mm. so the staples will be a much better fit. Perfect. Okay, so that's it look at that we wrapped our present beautifully now we just got to be able to hang it up so we've got these tiny little um keyhole hooks okay and we're going to mark out the center of the board and actually fix that in place okay so the board is 600 across so we're going to get our center point at 300 mils okay and now it's fastened there you have it. Look at that. Beautifully wrapped, smooth, and you've got your very own pin board. And that was really easy. Really easy. Now we just got to get those little, you know, catchphrases and mementos to <laughs> decorate it up. <laughs> for sure. But I think let's go find a space for this guy. Cool. Pin anything that inspires you to the board. The cork will make sure your push pins are secure. When you've left over wallpaper, simply change the wrapping to update the look. You'll find all you need for this project at the builders near you.